Hello and welcome everyone to OER Camp Global. This is hour one. In this hour, you will hear from your hosts and you will meet the team behind this global gathering. We will show you the way through the next 48 hours. And of course, we will get to know each other a bit. For the start, we have a welcoming word and it comes from Walter Hirche. He is the chair of the education committee for the German Commission for UNESCO. Walter Hirche, please. Dear partners, uh, dear participants all over the world, it's my great pleasure to open the very first global OER camp on behalf of the German Commission for UNESCO. First, uh, I would like to thank the colleagues from UNESCO for their extraordinary support and our partners from Jöran and Consorten for the excellent collaboration and long-lasting partnership that now leads to this great event. We are very pleased about the global level of participation and the great number of contributions to this event. We have more than 720 participants from around 80 countries, 120 sessions and 15 keynote speakers. This is already a great success and proves the importance of the topic of open educational resources. As you know, UNESCO coined the term open educational resources in uh, 2002, and since then has been deeply engaged in advocating open licensing of educational material. The World uh, Congresses in Paris in 2012 and uh, in Ljubljana in 2017 were important milestones in bringing together member states and uh, raising awareness on the enormous potential of open educational resources. The World Congresses paved the way for the first intergovernmental standard setting instrument on open educational resources. The UNESCO uh, recommendation on OER unanimously adopted by UNESCO's General Conference in 2019. This important document recommends open licensing as publicly funded educational material and calls on member states to promote and invest in OER. We, as the German Commission for UNESCO, have been involved in OER for almost 10 years now. We are convinced that OER have a huge potential to contribute to education. 2030 agenda, sustainable development uh, goal four, to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and to promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Open licensing not only makes educational material accessible, but also allows the user to work further, further on it, improve it and share it with others. Thus, OER can also be adjusted to learners' needs. Additionally, collaborative learning processes and peer review mechanisms can increase the quality of educational material. That way, users worldwide can benefit from the input of a global community, which is one of the reasons we are gathered here today. Last but not least, learners are actively involved in the educational process uh, when collaboratively creating educational material, and students learn best when they are actively involved. In Germany, we have experienced a positive development regarding OER in recent years. Thanks to a very active OER community and an impressive number of grassroots activities, the field has gained momentum. Political attention has, and Germany has also been very actively involved in drafting UNESCO's OER recommendation. We are looking forward to further implementing the recommendation in Germany, and we are delighted that the OER festivals of 2016 and 17, and the many OER camps organized by Jöran and Consorten under the auspices of the German Commission for UNESCO have played their role in this encouraging development. We are more than happy that the OER camps with their innovative format now take place on a global scale, benefiting from its core value, 
the key role of user-generated content. We are very much looking forward to the exciting exchanges in the two upcoming days. Thank you for participating. We wish all of you a great event. Thank you very much, Walter Helcher. The next welcoming message comes from Paris. It's a video message from Dr. Marielsa Oliveira. She's the Director for Partnerships and Operational Program Monitoring at UNESCO. Dear Chair of the Education Committee of the German National Commission for UNESCO, dear founder of the Open Education Resources Camp, dear participants, it's a great pleasure to speak to you today at the opening of the OER Camp Global 2021, where we are gathered for 48 hours of learning and sharing about open education and open education resources. This event, which is structured around the UNESCO OER Recommendation 2019, brings together participants from governments, institutions, and civil society. It is particularly timely, as globally, digital content has become essential for learning and the importance of OER for knowledge sharing is accentuated. I'd like to thank, in particular, the German National Commission to UNESCO for organizing this important initiative. This event demonstrates the key role of national commissions in the liaison with and the mobilization of stakeholders to analyze the implementation of UNESCO's program. As you know, in 2019, UNESCO member states adopted the OER recommendation by consensus. This normative instrument identified actions in five strategic areas to ensure that the power of open education resources could be harnessed to support quality learning and knowledge sharing. These areas of action are building stakeholder capacity to create, access, use, readapt, and redistributed OER, developing supportive policies, promoting inclusive and equitable quality OER, fostering the creation of sustainability models for OER, and facilitating international cooperation. This recommendation also provided a clear definition of open education resources, namely that OER are learning, teaching, and research materials in any format and medium that reside in the public domain or are under copyright that have been released under an open license that permits no cost access, reuse, repurpose, adaptation, and redistribution by others. The recommendation also underscored that an open license is one that respected the intellectual property rights of the copyright owner, while granting the public the rights to access, to reuse, repurpose, adapt, and redistribute education materials. It also made clear the importance of the wide range of stakeholders necessary to ensure the full potential of OER for supporting quality lifelong learning and knowledge sharing. Stakeholders identified in this normative instrument include governments, educational providers, teachers, researchers, as well as civil society partners, libraries, archives, and museums. This Global Bootcamp provides an excellent venue for all stakeholders in this process to share, collaborate, and build knowledge together on and about OER and open education. This has become particularly important as the global COVID-19 crisis has caused a paradigm shift in access to education for learners of all ages. There is a need to address these challenges of this pandemic, which is now going into its second year. OER has played a crucial role and demonstrated its transformative power in contributing to continuity of formal and informal learning during the COVID-19 pandemic crisis, where online and digital became the new normal for learning worldwide. It is also important for the global community to anticipate future crises that may impact teaching and learning. This is necessary to lay the foundation for the systematic and sustainable integration of good practices for knowledge sharing and learning support in the post-COVID-19 era. It is therefore essential that the global community acts to make universal access to information and knowledge through OER a reality. This pandemic offers us a great learning moment 
and has highlighted the power of openness. Ladies and gentlemen, indeed, the UNESCO Open Education Resources recommendation was the starting point for a common commitment and declared political will of member states towards knowledge sharing through OER. In this light, to strengthen international cooperation around OER, immediately following the adoption of the OER recommendation in March 2020, UNESCO launched the OER Dynamic Coalition, a multi-stakeholder initiative to support knowledge sharing and collaboration around the implementation of the five action areas of the OER recommendation. The coalition is composed of experts from member states with a particular focus on UNESCO national commissions, IGOs, UNESCO category two centers, specialized agencies, civil society, and the private sector. The vision of the Dynamic Coalition for OER is to expand and consolidate commitments for action in the field of OER and to promote and strengthen international cooperation among all relevant stakeholders. I know that many of you are part of this coalition and I would like to invite those who are not yet there to join. OER can play a critical role in achieving several goals of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Effective integration of open education resources can contribute to achieving inclusive and quality education, SDG 4, supporting gender equality, SDG 5, fostering innovation, SDG 9, and reducing inequalities, SDG 10. Colleagues, this first global OER bootcamp aims to celebrate OER and to deepen our knowledge about activities of the OER community. It is an innovative opportunity to allow us to know each other better and to learn about our projects, our goals, and how we can overcome our challenges. Indeed, OER calls for sharing of knowledge, and the online nature of this festival allows us to do so going beyond geographical boundaries and pushing the borders of time zones. Ladies and gentlemen, during this bootcamp, we will be focusing on the various action areas of the OER recommendation. This is an important step in a voyage we have undertaken as an international community in building inclusive knowledge societies. Inclusive knowledge societies are those societies whose members have the skills not only to acquire information, but also to transform it into knowledge and concepts that enable them to make control of their lives and contribute to the social, economic, and environmental development of their communities. This is what we aim for. And in this spirit, I wish you every success in this first ever global OER camp. I trust this will be another milestone event in our journey for sharing and co-creating knowledge on and through OER worldwide. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Dr. Marielsa Oliveira from Paris, obviously. Um, my name is Joran Moos Meerholz, but it's uh, even hard for people who know from which language the names derive from just choose one of the three names uh, or half of the one of the names. Uh, everything's fine. I think within the next 48 hours, we won't master the big problem of getting to know each other's names and how to pronounce them, but we will try. I just skipped half of my welcoming message because those welcoming messages that we heard were already comprehensive and had everything in it that I wanted to say. So we will have two more minutes for getting to know each other and getting to know how the next 48 hours will work. Thanks again, Walter Hirsch, Dr. Marielsa Oliveira. And I would like to stress that the link to the OER Dynamic Coalition hosted by UNESCO was sent into the chat. So you can find it there, copy it or click it and uh, take a look at it um, when you are interested in knowing more or uh, learning more about the OER Dynamic Coalition. So OER camps are bar camps, and we have been hosting those events now for almost 10 years. The first one was in 2012. And we then thought about gathering everyone in the German-speaking communities interested in open education OER and those were around maybe 70 or 80 people uh, gathering for three days. 
And actually, we didn't think what might come out of it, but it was really great to see over the years that the OER camps were bringing together people from several educational sectors, from several fields of interest, and sharing their knowledge. And now I think we see a more mainstreaming approach that in many organizations and many institutions, there are more than one or two people interested in OER, and that's great. And now we are interested in taking this to the global level to learn how is it in your country, in your field of interests? How are you working in the field of open education? What are your questions? What are your problems also, your challenges? So OER camps always have been not about only transferring fixed knowledge, so rolling out the knowledge that is already there, but also about finding out new knowledge to co-create new knowledge, actually. And I think that's what we will see within the next 48 hours.